Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. So today I am going to be really talking about edges, giving my tips on how to maximize the edges that you have and possibly grow them back if you, you know, lost them for some reason other than like health, you know, related reasons, as well as tips on how to keep your edges thick so that you have them to do different things with. You know, I like baby hairs, um, maybe not as much as some people, but I do like to slay my baby hairs. I do like to slip them down in certain ways. So that's what this video is gonna be about, just whatever tips and tricks that I have. So I just wanted to go over the types of gels that I have for my hair here. So I have them all labeled in these tiny um, little containers, mainly so they can just fit on this section of my bathroom. But what I have in here, What's labeled black gel is the got to be glued black gel. This is the texture of it. Um, again, you can see that it is the clear black gel. This is how it looks. And I will use this gel when I know I'm going to be somewhere like the beach or maybe even in the pool. And I want to ensure that my edges stay laid no matter what. So this is the advanced gel, I guess you could say, advanced gel. Next I have the olive oil gel this is literally the olive oil um, extra moisturizing gel so this is how this gel looks it is more soft it does have a pretty nice hold on it but again this is not as not going to be as strong as the got to be glued black gel but um i use this more on a daily basis every day when i'm laying my edges um whether i have twist or if I'm wearing a half wig, this will be my go-to gel. That's why it's kind of <laughs> uh, gunky, but this is what I use every day for laying my edges. Lastly, what I have here is the Got To Be Glued Yellow Gel. So that is the white gel that you see oftentimes ladies using to lay their lace. Um, I have used this gel to just tack down the front of my lace front wig, but sometimes, sometimes, Again, sometimes I will use this to lay my edges. As you can see, it is barely used because I don't use this one that often. This is the toothbrush <laughs> that I use to lay my edges. It is very soft. Um, I clean it after every three uses to keep uh, any germs or bacteria from going. And when I'm done with it, I just sit it right here behind my sink. This is the cleansing conditioner that I use on my entire hair, but especially when, um, and it's upside down because I keep it upside down, but I'll reverse it for you guys. Um, I use this cleansing conditioner very, very often, especially if I am wearing lace front wigs and I'm tacking down the front of my hair. I, you know, you don't wanna let that build up, um, you know, happen to your scalp as well as to your hair. So about every two days, I will take some of this on a washcloth a warm washcloth and I will just try to get some of the buildup off of my hairline and that tremendously helps your hair grow, that helps your scalp stay clear. A major part of hair growth that I think a lot of people um, underestimate is how clean their scalp is from day to day. So this is my hair section in my closet. Um, these are some of the products that I use in my actual scalp. I love this for my scalp. I have an itchy dry scalp. I will use this as well. This is a great alternative to some of the uh, scalp solutions that require a prescription if you don't have health insurance. Um, this is a product that I love to use when I'm doing twists, um, whether I'm putting my hair away or if I'm twisting it to wear I'm like um, you know, Havana twist or spring twist. My hair loves this product and it keeps my ends sealed and, and full of moisture. So here are some of the scalp things that I use. This is a huge bottle of jojoba oil. I swear by jojoba oil. It is really the main thing that I use to keep my scalp moisturized. And sometimes, um, well, usually predominantly when I'm done washing my hair or just like I, you know, previously mentioned, you know, when I am done, um, removing the buildup from my scalp or my hairline, I will go back and add a few drops of jojoba oil to keep that area moisturized. In this bottle, I have sealing oil. I have avocado, jojoba, and tea tree with a little bit of um, essential oil just for smell. I'm gonna have passion fruit um, essential oil in here. 
again i wanted to mention in case you were unfamiliar this is the gel that i use every day this is the olive oil gel this is what it looks like in the large container that i obviously don't want to leave out in my bathroom but this is my everyday gel that i use to lay my edges so i wanted to draw attention to some of the leave-ins that i absolutely adore here are my two favorites so this one by TGIN. This is a Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner. And this one is by Ren Pure. This is the Cocoa Whipped Cream uh, Leave-In Conditioner. Literally my favorite hands-down conditioners. They mix well with a lot of products. Um, they both smell amazing. They are perfect for my hair texture in particular. I never have issues with build-up or like white cast. So I love these two. If you actually have pretty um, like fine hair, you can literally use these products to relax your ed to uh lay your edges rather um more in particularly this one because the consistency of this is good and thick i don't know if you can kind of see that but this product is amazing this is the first leave-in conditioner that i really found that i loved that i have used consistently um but i just recently started using this one within the last year and i love it just as much this one is obviously more expensive than the rim pure brand but love those two Oftentimes, I will have people comment on my edges, both men and women, surprisingly. Um, and so I get asked a lot of questions about why my edges are, you know, thick and why they look a certain way. But the first thing I wanted to say before we do get started in this video is that your hairline does have to do with your genetics. And unfortunately, if your, you know, phenotype permits that your hairline is thinner or that you don't have as much, um, of a hairline then nothing in this video is really going to help you with that it can teach you how to keep your hairline thick but if your edges are not naturally thick or you don't act you know naturally have a lot of hair then you can't create that i mean well i guess you i guess you could part back into your hairline and cut hair shorter and then you know but I naturally am very hairy. I have hair all over my arms. I have hair on my back. You know, I'm a hairy person. My edges come all the way down to my eyebrows. So I have a lot of edges <laughs> to work with, but that is again, based off of my genetics. So, but some of the things that I will be sharing in this video will help you maintain your edges, keep your edges strong, keep them, you know, growing nice and thick and really really nice easy ways to style them this is what they're looking like as of now they have a little bit of residue of gel left on them the gel that i tend to use all the time is this olive oil gel i just put it in a smaller container um but yeah let's get started so the first thing that comes with having your edges laid is making sure you get the right type of toothbrush um, I think the toothbrush matters <laughs> um, and specifically the reason why I'm saying toothbrush is because I have tried to use the edge brushes that they make and they don't really give me the same results so I always end up going back to a toothbrush. <laughs> so this is a very soft bristle toothbrush. It is not um, too soft but it's soft enough to where I'm not like using a harsh bristle on my edges. Your edges are very thin, they're very, you know, delicate, so you wanna treat them nicely. But it works well enough so I can get the swoops, you know, uh, you know when I need them to. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my gel, like this much. So I usually like to start on this side. There's no reason in particular, that's just where I like to start. So I am going to start like that. Pulling, separating this area, knowing the way that my edges naturally flow, and go like that. Whatever little baby hairs are left that I don't want to be a part of this swoop that I just made in the front, I'm just going to swoop that back. So that's my first section done. Again, I go like this and swoop up, okay? You want to move kind of quickly because you want your... You want your hair to ultimately dry at the very last stage, which is setting it with a scarf. So now I'm going to move on to this section, this section right here. So I didn't always do this, but I feel like doing it this time. <laughs> so I'm going to take this, this, this piece of hair. You see this right here? And I'm going to... swoop that and create this shape right here. So we have one going like this and another smaller one going like that. 
And the last thing I'm gonna do is take my very, very thick sideburns and create that shape. So this is the, this is what I do every day when I lay my edges, especially when I have um, a style like this. This is what I'm going for. This right here, simple, not over swoops, not overdoing it. There's not a lot of product on my face. This is it. And if you realize, I didn't go back and dip more than twice. If I did twice, this is what they are looking like. And as you can see, they are pretty. You know, they're staying still. So now I'm going to take my silk scarf, and I only wear silk scarves on my hair. And I'm just gonna tie it on my edges and let my hair sit, you know, while I do my makeup, while I get dressed. That's usually what I do. I'm not going anywhere now, so I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> but um, I will leave this scarf on my head for about four to five minutes. You don't have to leave it really long, like unless you just want to. And I'm gonna rinse this out. Honestly, your edges lay better when there's not a lot of product buildup. So that's whether it's on your actual hairline or on the toothbrush that you are using. And so I will come back and show you how nicely my edges are laid as soon as they are dry. All right, so it's been about, I don't know, not that, a few minutes. So let's show, let me show you the results. And this is how they are looking. And sometimes what you can do is once they are laid is just like lightly rub them and they'll have that less um, stuck down look, which I prefer sometimes too. But yeah, that's how my edges have turned out. That's how they are looking. So my last tip to helping grow your edges out or to restore them if something took them out, like whether it was lace fronts, anything like that, is to use a rolling ball like this. So this is something you can use on your skin, but I don't like to use it on my skin, so I use this on my scalp. So these basically have tiny micro needles, and you can apply your you know, hair growth oil, whatever you're putting on your scalp, apply it to your scalp and roll over that area, and you will see hair growth. I'm telling you, this tool helps hair growth because the micro tiny pricks allow for oxygen to get in which creates more blood flow which equals more hair growth so that's that's just another tip just throwing that out there this is the finished results so hopefully this video was helpful to you if you are trying to grow your edges or if you're trying to find ways to style your edges or how to slay your edges hopefully this video was helpful thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my commentary or more of my content in general please comment below if i missed anything in this video or if you just have any questions about hair growth in general um and make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you don't miss any of my comment because i and um, you know thinking about producing more videos on a consistent basis <laughs> yes thank you so much for watching take care bye